I love Tennessee River, man. You got, you got big largemouth, you got spotted bass, big smallmouth, and when you get them dialed in on a crankbait, especially one that's gonna mimic a crayfish, get around those rocks, those free spawn areas, you're gonna find for a lot of action. what I'm talking about. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one. Large mouth or small mouth? Oh, a good large mouth. I mean, a good one. There's something about that White River matching. Spawn. It is my favorite, especially when it's been clear for a while. Really, really works good. Cool. Man, they starting to get some color to them. It tells you that water is warming up. Man, I love it. Love it, I love it. Damn <laughs> trocar hooks. They failed recess, they don't play. Gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Love that color, man. He was on that corner. That's so much of a pre-spawn deal, too. You know, water temperature being 59. These fish are gonna move up in these little pockets. You know, one thing that's big about, about the spawn is they've gotta be protected. So they're gonna move where they've got the least amount of wind and boat action. And the backs of these little bitty cuts in the pockets are the deal, especially if you're on a lake that is not gin clear. If you're in real clear water like Smith Lake, they'll spawn out on these points because they can get in six or eight feet of water. The Tennessee River, they're gonna, those largemouth are gonna spawn shallower and the, they're gonna set up, just sit out here and eat. Eat shad for several weeks before they go up to spawn. 59 degree water, it is getting close, you know, when you, when you start seeing 61, 62 in the morning time, not in the evening time, but in the morning time, that's where you're gonna have bass starting to spawn. One of the things I really like to do this time of year is, you know, think of where they're headed, where they're going and where they'll set up. You know, we're a few weeks away. You know, Wilson Lake, they kind of fluctuate the water until probably about mid-April. So these water willows that you see in front of me here is really where these fish are gonna set up at. And right now they're setting out in front of them and, and it's a lot of gravel, a lot of, a lot of real firm bottom and that's where they're gonna sit waiting on those shad to come through. And especially when you find little points on it and different things like that. And I know this sounds crazy, but the, the color of a bass can tell you a lot. I mean, that fish was really colored up, which tells you his metabolism is on the way up. When they're real pale and opaque, that water's cold. Crankbait's probably not gonna be your best bet, but when they're, when they're firing and you can cover water, a crankbait is hard to beat. Hey guys, be sure and check out Alabama Custom Cabins at alabamacustomcabins.com. We've got them right here on our property at Willow Oak. The clients that stay here absolutely love it. And hey, right here's a little touch of Willow Oak Lodge. This is the Disney World if you love to hunt and fish. You know, we have enormous deer here inside our preserve, just unbelievable action to watch these deer out in nature and what they do. We enjoy having guests, so guys, come hang out with us. Uh, if you're interested in that, you can go to visitwillowoak.com to get more information. We all have our reasons for doing what we love personal reasons, professional reasons, big reasons, little reasons. Sometimes, no reason at all. It doesn't matter what your reason is, as long as you do it full throttle. Bad boy, mow with an attitude. All Swampers jigs are designed for technique-specific applications. The Kelly Jordan Flippin' Jig has a pointed nose with an encapsulated line tie to penetrate heavy cover. The Timmy Horton Finesse Jig has a lower line tie to decrease hang-ups. The Gary Klein Swim Jig has an upward keel to easily swim close to the surface. The Edwin Evers Head Turner stands up soft plastics with its flat triangular head design. See all the styles and colors of Swampers jigs at ProfoundOutdoors.com.